Hey, what's good, everybody? How are you all doing this evening? Welcome back to another edition or episode of Headlocks and Hot Packs. We have some more baseball cards to check out today. We're going to be uh, sticking with some vintage for a little bit, and uh, or at least the next couple of videos, unless I pick up something else in between. But uh, took another trip out to the LCS today. Didn't really see a whole lot out there. And as you can hear, as usual, every notification in the world pops up when I'm doing a video. I don't know why that happens. But regardless, I, like I said, uh, took a trip out to the LCS today. Didn't see a ton out there. But uh, sprung for some vintage stuff. And uh, did see one, or well, two items that I was uh, a little bit excited about. And that's what we'll be opening today. So let's show them off. Here is a 1 and a 2. That's right, it is two rack packs of 1990 Topps Baseball. Obviously these boxes are pretty expensive these days because everybody is going after the Frank Thomas no-name on front. So I haven't had a chance to open any 90 Tops on the channel yet and that will be changing today. Of course we're going to be just looking for the Frank Thomas rookie on its own, whether it's a no-name on front or not. Uh, you've also got Larry Walker in here, Juan Gonzalez possibly, uh, Sammy Sosa as well, and um, who knows, maybe we will pull a Griffey for the Griffey PC along with that. Uh, but before we get into that, the other thing, well one of the other things that I'm going to show off today, the last thing we will be saving for another time, is I picked up one lone single from the LCS, and here it is. It is an 85 Tops Roger Clemens rookie card. It's for some reason having a hard time getting a good focus there, but um, I got a bundle deal on everything, so I want to say I paid 10 bucks for this, which I thought was a pretty fair price. Obviously, it's a little bit off center there, and a pretty interesting little tidbit on the back there that I never. New Roger refused basketball offers from the Supersonics and Celtics to sign with the Red Sox. I uh, never knew that, so um, clearly uh, 85 tops, that's another expensive box as well. So I uh, decided, you know, if I see them at a good price, I'm going to start grabbing some of these higher-end rookies. I guess you call them higher-end rookies for my PC. Of course, I collect the Red Sox, so... Uh, Nice little ad for my socks PC there, but uh, the main course, like I said, is these two racks of 90 tops. Again, looking for Red Sox, Ken Griffey Jr., as well as those Hall of Fame rookie cards, and uh, any other decent rookies as well. Pretty much the ones I named are going to be the best ones, and... Um, you yeah, got guys like uh, David Justice and uh, players like that that ended up in the traded set. And right off the bat, the hometown guy, he always seems to appear when we do the older cards. Billy Swift. And just in case anybody is not familiar with the design, but there you go. South Portland, Maine. That is where I reside. So, Bruce Hurst. I want to say these boxes are right around... 50, 60, 70 dollar range. I could be wrong on that. But, uh, did we have two of him in the same pack? Or am I just, I'm just imagining things. But I figured this was a, uh, good chance to get to at least check it out. So, I'm not sure when I will be able to, uh, actually pick up a box of 90 tops. But, um, these ended up only being a dollar a piece, two dollar price tags on there, but um, I always get a deal from the LCS owner. Like I said, I uh, bundled everything pretty much together. He always does that for me. So only a buck a piece on these is not too bad at all. We are not doing very well thus far, as we have not even, probably the biggest name we've seen is that Joey Bell, Albert Bell. 
not like a huge fan of this design either. It's very um, 80s, I would say. Rob Deere, Dave Martinez, and then Steve Finley's second year. So we have not even seen a decent name yet. Of course, that's kind of the issue with 90 Tops. They were all released in one series. Here's our uh, insert Howard Johnson All-Star. And then turn back the clock, Dick Hauser. Let's get some good players going here. Roger Salkel, draft pick. Not one that we are looking for. There's Kenny Rogers' rookie card. That's um, one of the lesser name players that can be found. And then Marquise Grissom rookie card. It would have been a hot one back in the day. Ryan Meyer. Kind of looks like Nolan Ryan a little bit there. Mariano Duncan. Ben McDonald. And then Wally Backman, the first one. That uh, <clears throat> was a pretty dud rack pack. But um, again, with a set of like 720 cards, maybe even more than that. And uh, being all released in one series, which was always the case back in these times. So we'll have, uh, we'll be quick today. At least that's what I used to tell all my ex-girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Quick video today. Hopefully you all will enjoy it. Next vintage item we check out will be a set. Another set break. It was too good of a price. I couldn't couldn't turn it down. Mike Sosha. Andre Dawson. Finally we find a Hall of Famer. The first one. Like I said, we're not doing pretty we're not doing uh too good. These rack packs. Kirby Puckett. Not too bad. We'll definitely take that one, too. Of course, I've got... Talked about it before. I have uh, binders full of Hall of Fame player... Um, mostly base cards, but uh, inserts as well. Mark Portugal. Checklist. Ooh, yippee. Bob Melvin, Tommy Gregg. Good old Scott Scudder. You can at least give us a Griffey here. Greg Jeffries, Gold Cup. David Cohn. We're not going to find any of the Hall of Fame rookies. I'll at least take a Griffey and then Don Slot. As we hit our final cards here, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. Oh goody, another Howard Johnson. Same thing in both of our rack packs. That kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, like I said, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. Eric Davis All-Star. And as always, if you are not subbed to the channel yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So you don't miss out on any of the action here, although these have been pretty actionless. Last few cards here. Total strikeout on these, really. Hal Morris and then Mark Gardner. So, uh, yeah, not very good on those racks. So we definitely will have to revisit this product at some point. Maybe I will get lucky and find more packs of them somewhere or uh, who knows maybe those box prices will come down a little bit but uh, definitely excited about the Clemens rookie if anything else and at least we had a chance there at pulling some of those 90 tops uh, Hall of Fame rookies that I still need for my collection so again short video this time around it'll be a little bit longer on our next vintage one and like I said if I find something else in between some newer product I will uh, try to split that up but uh, until then everybody enjoy the rest of your night and if you get to hit any LCS's shows or anything like that good luck